Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Legend of Zelda Wind Waker HD. I'm Rabbit Luigi, and in the last episode we made our way to the Forsaken Fortress, we disabled a whole lot of searchlights, we got a heart piece, and now in this episode we're going to make a frontal assault on the big tower, because we have, a, we have a daughter, not daughter, that'd be a bit weird, we have a sister who is being held captive uh, against her will, along with like a whole load of like pointy haired girls, it's a little bit creepy, I've been over this before, uh, and... We we're gonna go over there. We haven't got a, we haven't we have no way of defending ourselves. We lost our sword last episode, but we have a shield. Okay, we have a, we have grandma's shield passed down through generations of the family, and because we've done all this, it still shows us this. It basically shows us where we need to go. There's a door there. We need to get to. Hey, Fee, how we doing? Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, I've got it. Okay, fantastic. Let's move on, because uh, quite a lot of people don't seem to like this area. Like, they, they sort of feel that it... Like, they, they kind of feel it kind of... It's not very Zelda, in a way. It's kind of Metal Gear Solid, pretty much. It's very Metal Gear. And Zelda was never very suited to Metal Gear gameplay. Take it, take it. I've got to concentrate, because there are rats around here. See, look, there's a rat. Rats, I didn't know, can actually knock you out. Well, not knock you out, but um, knock you out of your little barrel thing. I remember that happening. I, I, re I recorded some footage for Zelda Month back in uh, July, and some of the footage was me going through the Forsaken Fortress, and a rat knocked me out of my fucking barrel, okay? I've no I've, it's never happened before. I think it happened once on my time through this, uh, time through this, literally, Wind Waker HD, uh, going through the game once to get to this part of the game, this sort of modified new game plus or whatever you want to call it. Don't actually know what it's called because it was like heroes mode, I think, or something. But that's something different now. That just means I take double damage. You know, I don't know. <laughs> I think it's something like you take double damage. You can't. Um, there are no recovery hearts. You've got to rely on potions and fairies, which is good actually because. I I didn't press anything. I swear to God, I didn't press anything. That scared the shit out of me, but I didn't press anything. Thank you, game. Run away! Run away! Okay, we're back now. I don't know what happened there. I think I may have just clipped the drop button. Uh, I, I don't know if it's ZL does that. I think definitely ZR does, because it says it on the screen. But I'm just gonna like hold my controller in such a way that I can't press any buttons, okay? And I can just wait. I can wait. I'll be conservative about this and just wait. Let's talk about different things. Hello, guys. How are we doing? I don't know what date this is going to go up. I think, depending on when I put the first episode out, this should be episode three. So this may actually be uh, an episode that goes up while I'm at work, surprisingly, funny enough. Because now I've got a job. I mentioned this previously. I, I'm now an associate's... Associated call center trainee person. I don't know. It's actually a lot better than you think. It's uh, it's not uh, outgoing calls. It's incoming calls. I'm basically part of the customer service for this for this particular thing, which is a uh, you know a, a, it's a start. It's a start, guys. Let's just go with that. Okay. <laughs> Let's stop talking about my life. Let's go back to Wind Waker because uh, my life's not that interesting. I, have, I, I think I also went to MCM Expo. That's that's coming up fairly recently, but it would it would it would have already passed quite a while ago. Gives you a little bit of an indication of when I recorded this exactly. But uh, there you go. I'm a busy man. I've got a countdown to make. I I'm guessing by the time this goes up, I'll already I would have already made it probably. So uh, there you go, guys. There you go. You need to. These are the siddle. The siddle. People think it's a siddle. I think it's supposed to be sidle, as in like when you sidle up to someone. Of Link looks like super, super concentrating. Very suspicious. Very suspicious minds. Very suspicious person. Rrr, rrr. Look at that frown he's got. Jesus. You'd think the guy was like had lost his sisters or something. Let's go get our sword. Hallelujah! It's our sword. Yippee ki yay, motherfuckers! Oh, spikes and a bad guy. Get that goddamn sword and never put it down. Oh, oh, I've missed that. Let's go kick some asses. Oh yeah, I've missed the I've missed the sword. Come on, come parry me. Try and parry me. Go on, try and parry me. That wasn't a parry. 
Go on, parry me. Parry. No, I, I want to parry you, even. There we go. Oh, rock and roll. Rock and roll Jesus is in full flow. Get out of here. Love that music. The mini boss music in this game. Incredible. Absolutely incredible, guys. Here we go. Opening the door to the main tower. Love that warm glow of the inside. You know, all that sort of dark area. Look at those flames are so good. Flames are so good in HD. Fantastic. There she is with the other girls with pointy hair and not blonde hair. Why, why was she kidnapped? The one on the right. I thought it was blonde hair and pointy ears. She had black brownie hair, brownie black hair. But hang on. Oh, I forgot about the bird. I was going to go beat up the bird. I did the searchlights. I did the friggin' moblins who got me like three times. Forgot about the bird. Bird was the most important part. Uh, this is the bad ending of the game, guys. Sorry. This has been Legend of Zelda. Wind Waker. I see you for the next LP. Ha ha ha. No, not quite. This is scripted. This is supposed to happen. I was supposed to forget about the bird because there's nowhere to get the bird. Instead, we are greeted by a half of a ship with a door in front of it and some guy who I can't actually see on my screen. I've got to look on the other one. There's some guy there. He's got funny hair. Look at that cloak. Look at the design of that cloak. That's cool. I like that. He's got ginger hair. Oh no, he's got ginger hair. And he just ordered the bird to throw us into the fucking... Wow. That bird, quite powerful. If it was able to do that, just by going, meh, throw, flick it away, flick it away. That's pretty powerful, okay? <laughs> Pay attention. The guy has a lot of power. And we're basically dead. But a red boat, a red boat has appeared out of nowhere. Kalukale. Ain't it wonderful? Jackass! 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 Wake up, Jackass! Stop calling me jackass! For God's sake! It's not funny anymore. God damn it. Oh, here we go. This looks nice. Look at the blue sky. Oh, that's better. Quite comfy. Sleeping on a boat isn't actually all that comfy. Even on like a dinghy. I mean, I can imagine sleeping on a dinghy isn't very comfy anyway, but sleeping on a boat is pretty bad because the, you, you can never go to sleep at night. The waves knock you about. It's really annoying. And the boat talks. Why does the boat talk? The boat laughs. Not only does it talk, as soon as it tells us it's talk, it, it can talk, it then laughs at us. That's kind of offensive. You're not my enemy. You're certainly acting like one. I've got your number, son. Jackass. Stop calling me jackass. Learn, to re learn some respect from the guy in pyjamas, please. He's going to be important lately. Lately. Later. Later, fruv. Yeah, the shadow that commands the monstrous bird. He was Ginger and Ganon. M most importantly, he was Ganon. Don't. <laughs> By the way, I should mention this now. Don't take offence. I, I, I'm not. I'm not trying to mean any offence to any Ginger people. Gingers are people too. I'm simply taking advantage of an outdated stereotype. Let's go with that. <laughs> Do you want to save your sister? Yep. Mm, yep. Little, little not that time. I see. Does take quite a lot of mouth movement to say I see, Mr. King of Red Lions. Maybe you should stop that. Lip syncing in Nintendo games. Not a uh, not a strong point. When they do actually have vocals, not vocals. When they do actually have speech, not speech. When they actually have like talking bits, don't do it because it's very uh, not good. You possess no sail. So here's the question: Does that mean we were flung away from Doohickey? Uh, Forsaken Fortress, by a bird, you caught up to us, you had no sail, so you were going around by cruising, basically, you were, you, you were going around without a sail. That must have taken such a long time, are you serious? Wow. Guy is dedicated to the cause. Criminy, anyway. Let's go, this is Windfall Island, ain't it pretty? There we go. Look at that, Windfall Island, this is the first thing they unveiled in, uh... The build up to Wind Waker HD's release. And ain't it pretty? It's, it's basically like your home from home. If Outside Island was your home, this is your home from home. This is the second home. This can be like your summer, re summer retreat place. It's fantastic. 
I'm gonna go buy some bombs. I haven't got enough. I've got, I've got 11 rupees. Maybe we can afford some. Hello, Mr. Ratman. This will be the bomb shop. The 10,000 rupees for 10 bombs. That's quite a. It's quite a lot. I bet it's 20,000 and 30,000. Thank you and good night, sir. Holy cow. Holy cow. 10,000 rupees. Whichever way you shake it, you know, later in this game you'll be able to hold 5,000 rupees. 10,000 rupees is still more than that, so we may need to come back to that one. Oh, oh no, there's a, there's, there, there's a beggar. There was a beggar. I haven't got any money. Now I didn't want to talk to you. Oh yeah, Windfall Island, the guy with the more ginger hair. What is it with these people and ginger hair? Is that diet or something? It's blonde or ginger. That's, that's how it works in this universe. I do like ginger people, by the way. Ginger people are people too. Okay, that, uh, that. Oh no, it's the perver! It's Tingle. Hello, Tingle. I thought I got rid of you in Majora's Mask. That's slightly frightening. Okay, we'll talk to you because it's kind of helpful in the story and that sort of thing. We do need to save you. Kind of. You are. You saw him. Someone must be a fairy light just like Tingle. Goodness! He seems very happy. Very happy. I can't imagine why. Tingle knows about you telling him. Sir, he's, he's a stalker. <clears throat> guy is just... Guy is just a... Mm, I don't trust this guy. Tingle. Uh, you know, we got a heart piece from doing this last time. I don't think we're going to get one. I'm not sure what we're going to get. I'm a little bit frightened about what we're going to get. But we just... We just... <laughs> Tingle is, a, is alive and well. Which is kind of a bad thing. Don't even know. Tingle's heartfelt gift of thanks. Now, in the GameCube version, you got a Tingle Tuner, which was a Game Boy Advance, which you could connect to your GameCube. In this, you get a Tingle Bottle. You can uh, write a message using the Tingle Bottle. Uh, you can add a photo, which you get from a later item, and you can throw those bottles into the sea, and they go to the Amiiverse post. It's kind of an easier way than doing like screenshots and making a post out of that. So, it's, it's kind of an upgrade, it's kind of a downgrade. I would have loved, I would have loved, like, every, it would be amazing, genuinely amazing, if they kept the Tingle Tuner in, made it look like a gamepad, uh, and made it something that you could control via the gamepad. Because the Tingle Tuner, in its prime, when it was actually, you know, if he had everything working, it was a fantastic item. You could have, like, backup. It was support. It was support. Yes, we can send... Yeah, I know. Yeah, okay. Fantastic. whoop de doo da I will be opening every Tingle Bottle I see. I may, may have mentioned that before. Uh, if it contains spoilers, I will block them from your view. You know, because I'm nice like that. We need to go through here. I don't actually know quite where I'm going, because my screen is very dark. I might need to change that. I'm actually going off my recording. I have to pause slightly for my recording to catch up. Let's go forward a bit. Uh, then we want to go this way a bit, maybe. Not quite sure. You, you can actually tell. There's a reason why I went to first person perspective. If you go right, you find a rat and he puts you in the sea, which you don't want entirely. It actually puts you where the King of Red Lions is at the moment, which you don't really want at the moment. We don't want that. Blue Rupee! Yeah! Big money! Big money, no whammies! Where am I actually going? I don't. I can't see. I'm, I'm actually going in circles. Oh no! No, no, I'm not going in circles. I went the right way. Fantastic! Fantastic! Someone's nicked the chest. What happened to the chest? No! No! Why is it? What? Where did it go? Oh, of course! Oh, that's stupid! I forgot! Okay, the second time round, you actually get the item in here from the start, which is the Picto Box! How are we doing, Picto Box? I forgot about the Picto Box! Because we went, because I went for the game, first time, uh, because... <laughs> where's this exit? I can't see. I think it is there. Because we went for the game the first time, off screen, uh, you actually get to keep the Picto Box when you play the game again. You get it from the start, which is fantastic because I don't need, to, I don't actually have to do the side quest involved in it because that side quest is, you know, kind of easy, kind of important, but uh, we don't really want to do it at the moment. I'm not actually going to open the Picto Box yet because I think there's quite a lot of spoilers in there, which is why there's 11 pictures. Might be an indication of just how spoilerific it's going to be. That's a cool word. Um, but you can actually get it from the start. I forgot about that. Sorry guys, I forgot. You can sue me later. When the episode's done, there's like a, a button underneath subscribe. It's sue for a uh, gross amount of misinformation. Which is, I don't want to talk to you! I don't want to get some money. I want to buy stuff. 
this is like a, a market town, basically, a market town. It's one of the few, like, genuine settlement places in the game. There are more important settlement places we'll get to later. This one has a lot of stuff you can buy. It, you kind of unlock it later throughout the game by doing specific things, unlocking specific side quests, coming back here at specific times, that sort of thing. At the moment, we need quite a bit of money because we need to go buy, buy ourselves a sale. So I'm just going to skip ahead until I've got enough money, uh, and then we'll go buy a sale. Easy as that, basically. Oh, that's all I need. I just need to get that one rupee and we're there. 80 rupees is the magic number. Now we can go buy ourselves a sale. The sale is quite important in this game. Partly because it makes you go fast while sailing. It's, you know, fairly important for that reason alone. And so we need to talk to this guy. By that, he was talking to us about various things. I kind of skipped over it because I needed to get the price for the sale. We'll come back to this guy later. But here we go, a boat sale. We put it on with A. Previously in the GameCube version, you had to uh, apply it, you know, you had to uh, map it to a specific button. In this one, you can just, it, uh, it's just like, it's always A, pretty much. I need to talk to, I don't want to talk to you, I want to talk to you. You, you give me a heart piece. Kill bees, oh my god. Buzz, buzz, bees, not the bees again. Son of a bitch, bees, anyway. <clears throat> Gotta clear my throat. Lots of commentary. Goes down well on my throat. This is Mary's School of Joy. I don't trust that. Don't trust anyone with School of Joy. Can I talk to you about... Yeah, we need to talk. We need to talk about some people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Delinquents of Gang of Four. Four gang, four gang. Four people, four little kids. Little boy called Ivan. I'm going to come to teach him a lesson. I've got a sword, okay? I've got a sword and a telescope. And a picto box. Picto box could be useful. Once I, I may have to like delete the pictures off screen so I can actually show off the picture box a little bit better. But uh, let's go talk to Ivan. Hello, Ivan. Yeah, bud, you so bully, bab, killer bees, bruv, yeah, man, Mrs. Mary, ah, uh, whatever. Don't be tardy, right? Yeah, this guy, this is like, I, I do imagine him to have quite a gangster voice, even if like he's a little kid. I imagine him to have quite a gangster voice. Your funeral bird, yeah, that sort of thing. I don't know if I, I'm trying to like mix it between like a sort of a gangster voice and a chav voice. It's quite difficult. Yeah, let's no. Okay, let's go find them. They're quite easy. They're very okay. They're they're, they're easy to find, not so easy to catch. So uh, I'm gonna do them one one. Don't talk to me. So the first guy's behind this. Do whatever the hell is he doing? And there's a gravestone. Oh, I think it's a gravestone. The pig face looking one. He's gonna jump. We are stuck here while he does his little cutscene. Stupid son of a bitch. I'm gonna gonna come and get that guy. I'm gonna come look, he's gonna run away with the pigs. He stopped. Why did you stop? I had you. You you were miles away, but now I can get us catch up just like that. How'd you feel? I actually just jumped off there accidentally, but here we have our first tingle bottle. Tingle bottles, literally, people send them out through Meverse and you can pick them up. And it tells you various things, so I'm just gonna open it up. Little tab for tingle bottles. What's it got? Uh, I don't want to pause. I'm gonna look at the picture. Uh, it's a volcano in black and white. So we'll, we'll get to that later. They should have got the they should have got the deluxe picto box like we have now. Instead, they've got the simple black and white one. So screw you, Mohammed was the guy. The guy was called Mohammed. Okay, I can see it from my gamepad. Guy needs to learn how to get. A better picto box. It's very useful. But instead, we got this guy to go get. I want to catch him. Why are you stopping me? Is this guy a. Is, this, is he male or female? I don't know. A little bit scared. Male or female? Genuinely, genuinely don't know. I'm gonna catch him. You are so slow. You are so slow. Oh my god, you're so slow. Don't want to talk to you. <laughs> I don't want to talk to you, people. I want to catch this bringing cat faced person. Jesus. So of course the next kid is over here. I think this one is a girl. I'm fairly confident in that. I think it's just because her voice is a little bit higher than any of the others. Maybe. I don't know. It's kind of that borderline, you know, chibi chibi boy and girl. I don't know. Japanese art style. It's the reason why some people don't like I didn't want to talk to you! <laughs> Thank you! We're gonna avoid this like scary guy. Like a zombie. There we go. Ivan falls out the tree. Let's go get this guy. Look at those arms. Look at him go. That's incredible. Please don't talk to me. 
the homeless guy. Leave me alone, homeless guy. No one loves you. That's why you're homeless. <laughs> there we go. Kicked his ass. That's all four of them down. And now we beat them into the ground. Caught all four of them. And for that, uh, do we get the half piece now? Yeah, we get the half piece now. Half piece now. Oh yeah, fantastic. Fills our heart container stuff. Favorite protection. Where did you get one of those before? Where did you get one of those? Uh, we're going to apologize. We'll do it later. Okay, we'll do it later. Instead, now we've got a sail and now we've got another piece of hearts. We're going to go back to King of Red Lions with our sail. Ain't it beautiful? Oh, look at that yawn. Look at that yawn. We took that long. He was starting to fall asleep. The art of sailing. Hoist the sail. Press A. Wind direction. Fantastic. B to put it away. We can go through that again. Yes, we know. Fantastic. Yeah, landmarks on the sea chart. Sea chart is a better. I can see it very well on my um, thingy on the gamepad. We'll, uh, we, yeah, I'll just go over here. Yeah. So this is this is the landmark. This is where we need to go next, which is what we're going to do in next episode. Uh, and the wind is going in which direction? Which direction? Uh, that direction. It's going in that direction. So this has been Rabbit Luigi. This has been Let's Play Legend of Zelda: Wind Waker HD. And in the next episode, we're gonna we're gonna set sail. With our very new fancy sail mechanic thing on our talking boat, talking red boat, uh, and we're going to sail our way to this mysterious island over here. Thanks for watching, guys, and I'll see you next time. Take care.